from a very gray and dismal Sunday morning, uh, but weather will not stop us. We are, I'm heading out to the Redding area, out to Berks County, to the Blue Marsh Lake National Recreation Area. Uh, there's 35 miles of trails there. We're going to do seven and a half of them today, weather permitting or weather not permitting. It's a good time to test out the rain gear. So Deb is already on her way in her car. I'm going to head over in Carmen here and we are going to get out on the road. Let's get going. <laughs> Lake National Recreation Area, or as close as we're going to get at the moment for parking. Uh, we're actually on state game lands, but as we head down the trail over here, we'll head down to that lake that you saw in the earlier footage. Um, this, that, that lake was a town uh, for about almost 200 years. There was a town there, and then in the late 60s, early 70s. The state uh, claimed the land as part of a conservation, uh, flood prevention, and recreational development program that created such parks like ones that we've seen, including uh, the uh, Marsh Creek where we saw the snow geese. Um, at that time, they moved a couple of buildings out of the area, but a lot of it either was raised or just just at the bottom of the lake. So I've got Deb with me today and we are both, we are planning an overnight trip at the end of the month, a two night, three day section of the Appalachian Trail. Um, but we haven't carried our full packs in a while. I carried mine out last week, but it, that trail was probably not the best one to be going out with my pack for the first time. And uh, this will be Deb's first time with most of her weight. So uh, I wanted to do something longer but easier for both our sakes. So this is listed on all trails as an easy hike, although there are a couple of sections of 300 feet of elevation gain in a fairly short distance. Sorry about that, Deb. <laughs> and, um, but... As you can see, like this is just a two track road. So I don't think it's gonna be terribly challenging, but it does look like it's gonna be phenomenally gorgeous once we get down around the lake. All right, so let me get this full pack on and let's get out on the trail.
right, so we had to take a quick stop to de-layer. Or I did, because I'm getting very warm. Uh, we are up on a ridge over the lake now. The one lone fisherman out there standing in the prow of his boat very seriously. So good luck to you, sir. I hope you catch something. We've been enjoying seeing the horses out here. Uh, fortunately, they haven't contaminated the trail too much. So we haven't uh, run into any boot surprises. That water crossing was a little challenging for Deb, because as I've said many times, I'm very grateful for my Gore-Tex boots. Deb hikes and trail runners that are not Gore-Tex. So it's a little more, more delicate process of putting your feet when you're gonna get water in them. All right, so we're about a mile and a quarter in in about 45 minutes. So for me, that's a pretty good pace, especially since we had about a 300 foot climb there and packs aren't feeling too bad. I'm still hoping we're going to see some spring flowers. I've seen some little yellow splashes in some of the lower sections, so we'll keep our eye out and see what we find. Just in the last couple of weeks that my videos have been a lot shakier than normal. Uh, no, I'm not sick. No, I'm not having muscle or joint issues. It's been frustrating the hell out of me too, because I could not figure it out. And I've been thinking, do I need to get a gimbal? But that's a half a pound of extra weight and it is really expensive and it only lasts a couple of hours before it needs to be recharged. So it's just a whole thing. So I was just complaining about it to Deb. And Deb said, well, you know, I've only noticed it in the last couple of weeks too. Has, have any of your settings changed? Well, Deb is a genius, but I knew that because sure enough, my stabilization had been turned off somehow. So 
I apologize for the quality of the videos before now, and hopefully we will be returning to your regu regularly scheduled non-nauseating hiking videos. So we have achieved butt break time. Uh, it was kind of a short one because the breeze has kicked up and it's really chilly. But it's the lake here is beautiful, even with the fishermen. I don't know that they're having much luck, but we were coming down the trail and this enormous bird <clears throat> went right along the tree line just on the other side of the trees from us. It went too fast. We could not tell what it was. Um, it might have been a heron. But it might have been an osprey. We've been seeing some great big giant bird, and I tried to get some footage of it earlier. I don't know how well it came out. It's just kind of circling the lake, and then I wouldn't have thought a bird could do this in flight, but it's like hesitating, like it's about to stoop into the water, but then it didn't do it. So I'm suspecting it's some kind of an osprey or eagle, but we haven't been able to get a good look at it. So. The trail has been nice, not a lot of rocks, a couple of tricky water crossings. Uh, we haven't had much interference from horses, although we do see the remnants of their passing occasionally. Uh, and they do turn up the path in some of the wetter spots, but that's okay. I'm happy to share the trail. But, so we are halfway done. We've done three and a half miles. We've got three and a half miles back. I think we've got one more big climb and then just a lot of little ups and downs and back to that first water crossing that we navigated and back to the car. So let's get up this hill and start heading home. <laughs> Well, we've got about two miles left, and I was hoping we were going to beat the rain, but it's such is not likely to happen. It started drizzling, so Deb's got her hat on, and I've got my umbrella out. And as she said, as soon as we get everything deployed, the rain will stop. So, hey, whatever it takes to make it stop raining, I'm okay with that. All right. We got our big climb up, out, done. We still have one big climb down, and then a lot of little ups and downs. But let's crank this out.
we made it back to the car. Um, it was, felt like it was kind of a close call over there towards the end. I was in a lot of pain. Um, I seem to be a six mile hiker. I can't, I hit a wall at like five miles and it just, the la I can do those last couple of miles, but it just really, really aches. Um, the weather wasn't conducive enough for me to be able to take decent breaks. So I really need to take a 15 minute butt break after two miles. And after four miles, I really need to take an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. And that makes a big difference. So, but it was just too cold and wet and threatening and it's threatening again now. So very muddy, very muddy on trail. But it was beautiful. There was a lot of good stuff to see. Um, I thought this was an easy trail. Deb saying, no, that was listed as moderate. I'm like, shh. Yeah. So I chose poorly, apparently. It was definitely a moderate trail. There were a lot of technical climbs or descents. Water crossings. The couple of muddy water crossings were a challenge, um, especially for she who has no Gore-Tex. <laughs> hey, I beat those thickets back. You did. You beat the thorns back, even when they tried to steal her table. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Yes, that, that white rectangle, that will be showing up in a future video. It's a really cool gadget. It's a but, so 7.8 miles. 7.8 miles in five and three quarters hour? Uh, in five, five and a half. Five and a half hours. So yeah. that's about what I expected. That's Moving time 4.34. Nice. So not too bad. Deb has this goal of us being able to do a mile in 30 minutes, and I think it's a laudable goal, and I don't know that I will ever reach it, but we strive for, for to improve. So, Deb's off to do family stuff. I'm off to do some family stuff. Deb will not be with me next week. Say goodbye, Deb. But I will be going out somewhere next week. I'm not sure where. It will be someplace easy this time. <laughs> but thanks for coming along and i will see you next time thank take care everybody bye-bye